going over a proposed natural gas pipeline that would run through downtown Norfolk and Kalana Shipyard. Thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm Stephanie Harris. Today, the company is voicing concerns over safety. The line would run from Chesapeake underneath the shipyard, across the Elizabeth River to Harbor Park, and then down Tidewater Drive and Virginia Beach Boulevard. Ten on your side, Andy Fox is in the newsroom exploring these safety concerns. Andy? Yes, Stephanie and Laura, we'll show you that map again in just a second. You will hear the leader of Kalana Shipyard say he thinks the pipeline is probably in federal compliance. However, he says they have seen no impact study, no safety study, and they have not been advised of any hearings on gas pipeline that will emotionally change, they say, the lives of people in its path. Kalana Shipyard has been around since 1875. At the news conference, they showed video of what happens when a 24-inch high-pressure, high-volume natural gas transmission line blows up. Owner and shipyard chairman, Bill Kalana. It's unsafe. It should have never been approved in the first place. And it's wrong. The pipeline construction could begin November 1st. Homeland Security expert and former head of Naval Station Norfolk, Joe Bouchard, surprised with the gas line's path. And it goes up through a densely populated urban area and then goes right through the middle of Kalana shipyard and comes out right next to Harbor Park. Virginia Natural Gas sent Kalana this letter. It reads, the pipeline exceeds federal design requirements, including using pipe made with stronger steel and installing shutoff valves to exceed the minimum spacing required by federal regulations. I do believe that for the most part, this pipeline is being constructed in compliance with federal requirements. During the news conference, they showed how powerful the pressure is and what that blast could be. This is 125 PSI coming out of it. They are arguing that if there is some type of an explosion, it will be 10 times this with a fireball 5,600 feet around. Pressure that would knock a wall down can be for a half a mile. It can destroy everything around it if it were so horrible to happen. In its letter, Virginia Natural Gas wrote, Virginia Natural Gas safely operates over 200 miles of this exact type of pipeline across its distribution. Community leaders also concerned. We're going to be in a blast zone, incineration zone. It's just not safe and it's not needed. Yes, and this gas pipeline could be devastating to Kalana. Two-thirds of its business is government agencies, including the Navy. Tom Godfrey told us he thinks the Navy will find this risk unacceptable and take ship repair elsewhere. It could be called, he says, the trickle-down of the natural gas pipeline. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.